Hey guys, it's Heather from Kell of a Plan. I'm here today planning in my classic happy planner. And um, if you have been watching my plan with me videos in this planner for the past couple of weeks, then you will know that I have kind of veered off a little bit from my normal use of Mambi stickers. So um, the first week of March, I used Mambi sticky notes, which was really fun, really different, but I really enjoyed it. The next week I did use Mambi stickers. These were from a new sticker pack. Last week I used Target stickers, which was new for me. And this week I am using stickers from Villa Beautiful. So I haven't, this whole month I've only used Mambi stickers once. And even when I used them, they weren't from the value pack of stickers. They were from um, one of the new smaller five packs. So this week I'm going back to my roots and I am using um, a value pack of stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. I'll be planning March 27th through April 2nd, which I cannot even believe that we're about to plan April 2nd. That's insane. So I plan on using this washi tape here from Me and My Big Ideas because I love it. I have my stencil for Me and My Big Ideas. I'm gonna give it a try this week. And then this is the Color Story um, sticker pack, which this is my favorite one. I actually have multiple copies of it. And I'm going to be using the stickers um, that are the botanical garden section of stickers because I just really love the botanical garden planner. And so I'm going back to my roots and I'm using these stickers. And I'm gonna try and stick with the ones that match this washi tape. So like this one here matches, um, this one here matches, and a few of the other ones match as well. So. Those are the ones I'm gonna try and stick to for the most part, although I will add in some other ones as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I don't use a ton of washi. And while this down here is beautiful, and it kind of, it actually matches pretty well. So I'm actually not gonna cover that up. I was thinking about covering it up, but now I'm second guessing myself and I'm not gonna do that. But I am gonna go ahead and take this washi tape and lay down a strip over here underneath the notes section. I'm gonna use this gift card to tear my washi. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put some over here as well. If I can get it lined up, All right? Um, most of you have probably noticed that I haven't used washi um, very often in my planner lately. Um, I think it's because I just really like the elements that are already present. And so I don't really feel like I have to cover up a lot with the washi. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start with this sticker that matches that washi tape that says Hello Weekend. And I usually would put it up here, but I'm trying to mix it up some. I usually always put it here or here, but this week I want to be a little bit different. So I'm gonna lay it right here in the middle. I think that looks really cute. And then of course, I also want to use this sticker that says today is the day which I don't really know that next week I have a day that's like, today is the day. So I'm just gonna put it like that. Okay, next, I really like this sticker. Sorry, I'm trying to find it, my book closed. This sticker is just um, gold polka dots. But I'm gonna put it here. Oh, that is so crooked. Did y'all see how crooked that went down? I can't even believe that went down that crooked. I don't know how that happened. Let's try that again. All right, that's a little bit better. And then I want to use, I love these pink, or it doesn't even have to be pink. I love these boxes 
where you can write and so that it's cute but it's not losing its functional piece. I love those. Um, I really like, I'm gonna add in this green one that says this is big over the to-do. Just because it kind of adds in the green from over here, adds in another color. Okay. I really like this blue one. It says Weekend Adventures, which I know down here it already says Hello Weekend, but I'm going to layer this here. And then I kind of have both. Okay, I'm looking through the sticker book trying to see um, what other stickers would go. So I really like this pink to-do list sticker. And I'm gonna cover up where it says to-do with important because I think that kind of draws my eyes to that list a little bit better. Um, and then I'm gonna use this green one and I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm going to add in this blue one that says errands, just so that I'm tying in some more of this blue color here. Okay. I really love this sticker here. Um, and I'm thinking that I'm going to kind of layer it. So I have that really pretty floral within this plant on it, on top of it, just to kind of give that. And then I really love how this right here has the same floral. Um, look, that would actually, those actually kind of line up. Do y'all see how those line up? But I'm gonna put this one down here. Today is full of wonder and joy. And it has that same floral print. Okay. I'm going to add this washi down here. Um, I'm adding it here just to help tie it in from these other places so that it's not like completely random that I have two strips of washi. I do kind of want to tie it in some. Even if just a few spots. Okay, I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to grab my big. So this is from the big. So these stickers are going to be a lot bigger. And they may not, I may have used all the ones that match, but I'm at least going to look. Um, sometimes it's fun to tie in big stickers because they kind of add like a fun dimension. So, like I like this one that says start today. Um, the top looks kind of wrinkly, like I peeled it off from somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna fix that just by trimming the top. Adding that there. And then I'm just gonna add this cute little blue heart Okay, it doesn't really look like I have many stickers left in the bag. Um, I do like that this one's bigger, and I kind of wish I'd put that here, but I do think I'm going to go back here and use this big checklist. Okay, so besides that, it looks like I kind of used all of those. All right, I love this pink sticker that says, don't let yesterday take up too much of today. So 
So I never do this, but I'm going to go in between the two boxes because then I can still write here and I can still write here. So that's kind of perfect. Then I'm gonna put a little heart here because we'll probably have date night. this cute little to do here and then I have these cute little icons that match um, and a lot of people ask like how do you know where to put your stickers if you're pre-planning like this and like I don't have notes um, telling me so the answer to that is that I really just the way I plan is with bullet points. So like really no matter what I'm doing, um, it's gonna be written next to a bullet point. So I can pretty much um, just stick the bullet points where I think I might have something going on. And it's pretty easy for me to fill in. I think I want to include this blue box um, just because I feel kind of feel like I need to turn in add in some more blue because I have blue here and here but it's just not a lot of blue so I normally wouldn't put a box sticker here also I hate that these say stuff here I wish that they didn't that's why I always Cover them up with something better than plans or to do or okay I can't believe I'm already almost finished with this spread sometimes it just comes together really fast and I love how this botanical garden these botanical garden stickers just go so well with this planner you know what would be really cute? I guess it's probably too late now. Oh well, maybe next time. I just stuck it back. I really feel like I need some more green. Here's a good one. Guess what? I don't know what. I'm going to write whatever I'm guessing right there. Oh, here's some green hearts. This will be good. So I do think it's important to, if you're going to use a color, include it in more than just like one spot so like the fact that I had green and green here I really needed some more green um, just to kind of even it out some so I went to another section of this book and it had these green hearts which is perfect I almost think I need a green one here so I'm gonna peel off this blue one And put a green one here okay I'm pretty much done I'm gonna wrap it up before I just go sticker crazy I'm really excited about this spread I think it turned out really cute really springy oh my goodness I had this out and I didn't even use it okay so I guess I'm not done I'm gonna add a few check mark lines because that's what I said I was gonna do so I'm going to make these green just to add in some more green. I love this stencil. It makes it so easy to just make your own checklist and you can add as many or as few as you want. Let's do another one over here. Let's actually move this.
These pens that I'm using are the rayon pens. I got them from Amazon. They come in a pack of like 48 um, for like $12. So if you're interested in these, I'll put the link below. The tips are very similar to the Mambi pens. So if you're like me and you love the Mambi pens, but you want them in colors, then these pens right here are the ones for you. I love them. Okay, and now let's add a set of pink ones right here, and then we'll call it a day. It might help if I take the pin off. So with this stencil, you literally just line it up, and then you just trace the check marks and the lines and it is seriously so easy this comes in a pack of two the other ones have circles instead of check marks okay so now i am finished if you like this video you like what you saw then hit that like button if you want to see more hit the subscribe button and happy planning guys it was fun to plan with you today